Today in the Audio Hotline studio, we have the Behringer XM8500. If you've been around the Audio Hotline for a little while, then you know that I talk about this microphone a decent amount. It's been in a couple little comparisons, and even some of you have asked me, like, why haven't you reviewed the XM8500 yet? And I never had a good answer for it. So you know what? Pitter-patter. Let's get at her. Welcome all audio nerds to the audio hotline. And as I said before, we've got the Behringer XM8500 in the studio. If you don't know anything about this microphone, it is a dynamic XLR microphone, and it is very inexpensive. Usually I see it go from about $17 to maybe $25, but I've noticed recently that Amazon has ran out of it quite a few times. When that happens, it does go up. I think I've seen it as expensive as like $30. Don't do that. Just wait for it to drop a little bit more. But you can pretty much get it anywhere on any site for $20. Today I am recording the XM8500 into my trusty Zoom H6 with the gain set at about 55%. One thing I'm just going to put out there for anyone who hasn't watched this channel, I do like the Behringer XM8500. I recommend it to people on a budget. I think it is a very solid microphone. That doesn't mean I'm just going to love on it the whole time. I'll tell you the facts. I'll tell you the specs. We'll go through the testing and you can decide for yourself. But full transparency, I like this microphone. Yep. There are some pros and some cons that I do have for this microphone that we'll definitely get into. But first, let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box with the Behringer XM8500. When you purchase the Behringer XM8500, you will get a nice plastic storage and carrying case. When you open the plastic hard case, you will see that this is in fact coated with protective foam and molded so beautifully to fit the microphone. You will get a microphone clip with a stand adapter and you will get the Behringer XM8500 microphone. When it comes to the build quality of the storage case, the accessories, and the microphone, I think that it is outstanding for $20. A hard plastic carrying slash storage case for $20 and it comes with the microphone? Like that's nuts. I mean, shit, dude, I've spent more than that on the plastic hard case itself. When it comes to the mic clip, it's your pretty standard, inexpensive mic clip. It's not bad, not great, just it is what it is. Stand adapter is a solid stand adapter. It's not plastic, and it's not the shitty one that de-threads really easily, so it's good. But when it comes to the actual XM8500 microphone, this is the thing that blows me away the most about this. The build quality, seriously, is so good especially for $20. Like, oh, I feel like I've already said for $20 like 30 times already. <laughs> you might be thinking to yourself, hey, dude, hey, Duderson, guy, uh, fella, you didn't mention a windscreen. Does that come with it? Or you just being an asshole and you have it on? I'm just being an asshole and I have it on. But during the testing, I will take it off as well as leave it on. I just think it's good to have a little protection. Everyone should use protection sometimes. Not all times. But before we get to that testing, let's go ahead and nerd out and talk about the specs. The Behringer XM8500 is a dynamic XLR microphone with a cardioid polar pattern. It has a frequency range of 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz and an impedance of 150 ohms and a sensitivity of negative 70 decibels. When I look at dynamic microphones on the frequency chart, it seems like that's a pretty common look for it. It wants to take out, you know, some bass of the voice so there's not too much rumble, and it wants to accent the high end. And the reason why a lot of dynamic microphones are like that is because a lot of them are technically meant for live use. It doesn't mean they don't work in other situations, but in a live situation, you don't want too much bass and you want, you know, that high end to really cut through the mix. But when it comes to the specs, there's nothing that I really have an issue with. It seems like a relatively standard dynamic microphone. Well, now that we've gone through the basics and talked about the specs, let's go ahead and test this microphone out. Let's do a proximity test. If you're just so happy that you got the XM8500 for the lovely price of $20 that you just want to give it a little kissins, a little cuddlins, then here's how it's going to sound when you do that, you friggin' creep. Just joking, I'm obviously the one doing it right now, so. <laughs> and if touching foam to your lips with chapstick on is more of your thing, then here's how it's going to sound. This was a terrible choice when you have cats, because now I have cat hair on my chapstick. This is fun. 
you never know how these plosive tests are going to go, so I'm just going to warn you, it might hurt your ears a little bit. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now let's go ahead and test the polar pattern. If you talk into the front of the XM8500, here's how it sounds. If you're a goofball and you talk into the side of the microphone, here's how it sounds. And if you're a complete and utter weirdo and you talk into the back of the microphone, here's how it sounds. Right now I'm just banging the crap out of a keyboard right behind the microphone. And here is how it rejects that sound. Now if you decide you want to buy this microphone for podcasting and you plan on doing a little post-processing on it, then here is how this microphone could sound with some EQ, compression, and uh, probably a little bit of a noise remover to lower that compression sound, as well as potentially a de -esser. If I do put EQ on this microphone, I will of course put the EQ chart up on the screen so you can see what I did. And I will list any of the plugins that I used right here. Right here? Get out of here, plugins. <laughs> Was that difficult to read? I'm sorry. I'll put them right here. There you go. There you go. There's your second chance. There you go. Now, if you plan on buying this microphone for live work, then here's how it would sound, passing it back and forth in between my hands, giving it a nice little squeeze, you know? If you're maybe a stand-up comic or a singer, maybe you would do this. Maybe you'd switch back and forth in between your hands. I would just recommend not doing it this frequently. It looks weird. It's upsetting. Well, now that we've gone through the basics, the specity spec specs, and the testes, let's go ahead and move on to my review of the Behringer XM8500. I mean, I guess I kind of said how I stand earlier, so <laughs> there's not a whole lot to say here. I love this microphone. It's definitely like a top-of-the-line $20 microphone for me, and honestly, there have been microphones in other comparisons and other reviews that I've put this up against, like $50 microphones, even more expensive than that, and this has came out on top. This is like an incredible product for the price. Now I know that I've talked it up quite a bit and I've said a lot of things, a lot of positive things. In all reality, you've got to think about the quality that you're getting for the price here. It's not necessarily only about quality, but it's also about price. So I mean like, is it the best microphone? Can it compare and knock down $100 microphones, $200 microphones? No, it can't. But this microphone does have a very good quality, especially for its reasonable price. And it could definitely knock off a lot of microphones, you know, in the under $100 price bracket for sure. But the bottom line is that I just think that this microphone does have very good quality for the price. And I've said that a lot so far. So one negative thing is that I do think you should use a windscreen of some sort with this microphone doesn't have terrible plosives but they're they're prominent and it absolutely helps to have just a little bit of protection so the grade that i give the behringer xm8500 is an a plus yes an a plus i think that for twenty dollars this sounds very good it's a very good build quality the accessories that come with it are fantastic. The storage case is amazing. You can't go wrong with this. But also, I think that it's a very good beginner microphone. If you want to start a podcast, I think there's a lot worse microphones you could start with. Well, that's going to wrap up my review of the Behringer XM8500. Stay tuned for a lot of other reviews and comparisons and just other little random videos. Thank you to all of the people that subscribe and comment. I do appreciate you. And thank you for watching the audio hotline. I'll see you audio nerds next time.